Hey Dory, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Oh yeah, what is it? I told Bailey and Winnie that I would go to the court with them to do the stupid court case thing that they're dealing with. Um, okay, I have to kind of go into work today, but then you say that your boss would let you bring in Rocky or something? Because like, who's going to be stuck with him? Not stuck per se, but uh, I don't know, I just can't today because I, I have a lot of stuff to do and Dora, I'm just gonna go there to support Winnie and look, if you don't think that, she's gonna be my sister-in-law in just a few days, so if you don't want to do that, then hmm, okay, I'll just stay at the house all day with Rocky. I mean, yeah, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Like, you're the woman. Oh, that came out wrong. I am so sorry. I did not mean to say that. No, that came out wrong. I, <laughs> no, Dory, it's fine. Just let me go, okay? Just, I don't care if you hire a babysitter or something, but I only got quite a few hours. So, just don't talk to me, okay? Clive, uh, I'm sorry. No, oh, that's your opinion. I respect your opinion. Ugh, what have I done? I'm so stupid. Hey, Bailey. Where'd Bailey go? Bailey? Bailey, hey, um, are you ready to go? Yeah, I just have to do this thing for work. I'll be out in like a few minutes. Okay, because I think Calliope is going to meet us there, and Nora is already there, and everyone's basically there, but, like, it doesn't start for another, like, half an hour, so we can be there. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just finishing this. Okay, I don't want to, like, stress you out. Like, we can go whenever you want, but, like, it's a ten minute drive, so, I mean. Can you just leave me alone for, like, five seconds? Be like. I'm sorry, just like, this is so stupid, I'm stressed too, but don't lash out at me, lash out at Dolly, like, she's the one doing this. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, just, I'll be out in a couple minutes, okay? Okay. Hey, Bailey. Yeah? Where's our lawyer? I can see their lawyer's already there and... Isn't that your dad? Oh. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. He's basically the lawyer of, like, everything on the bad side of, like, everything, so... It's typical that he would help my mom on this. So, yeah. And he's coming. I think soon. Soon, Bailey? We have ten minutes. I know. Ah, uh, there he is. <laughs> I'm here. Am I too late? Or no, no, I haven't started good. Ah, uh, so you're the guy that dressed up as a Christmas tree for Bailey to try to impress me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty cool like that. Oh my gosh, Oreo. Okay, but like, seriously, how are you a meowing lawyer? Like, you're like an assistant at the nature farm thing, which you said you actually weren't, so are you actually a lawyer? Like, is this against the law? No, actually, this is my real job, luckily. Ah, okay, I was gonna say, wow, your friend can really do everything. Yeah, <laughs> he can. How dare you, I can't do anything, though. <laughs> well, thank you for being here, Oreo. My pleasure. Oh, I think it's starting soon. Okay.
And Winnie, how are we gonna bring proof again? I don't know. I brought the receipt from that day, but there's nothing else I can really do. I couldn't think of anything either. But let's just go. Oh, hi, Winnie. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Clippy. Hello everyone, I am Judge Olaf and I will be your core judge today. And this is the case of shoplifting at a store. And Dolly Block made this case happen. Yes, sir, it did. Alright, well, let's get started. This case is now officially in session. So, on the block side, we will have Mr. Morris come up here and state what he thinks about the case. Thank you. So, the opposing side, Winnie Rosethorn, supposed to be in a few days, um, shoplifted from a store and she was banned from the other, which was connected by the same business. Now she didn't know about these businesses being connected. If you're banned from one, you're banned from the other. But she didn't know that. And we have security camera footage and paperwork showing that they are connected and that she did shoplift. Okay, Morris. Now, Oreo, we need to hear your side. Okay, Winnie Rose Thorn supposed to be is not guilty of this crime because the security camera footage is probably fake. We have never seen it before, but Winnie has the receipt from that day that she did pay. And that passion was there that day. She was the cashier. So she's now a suspect and she could be lying about this but either way winnie is innocent and a few of her sisters were there that day but one of them did not show today so rory is also a suspect rory fang thank you oreo now passion and rory come on up do you two think that the other one is lying about what they're about to say? Yes. Yes. Well, I forbid you to lie, and you must only tell the truth. No, Rory, go first. Well, I was there with Winnie that day. And yes, Passion was the cashier. And this security guard just randomly came up to us. And then Winnie just got kicked out of the store. So Winnie just got kicked out of the store, but she did pay. And then the security guard came, and I said I wanted my money back for the clothes, but we did originally pay. Okay, Winnie, I would love to see that receipt right now. Okay. Okay, thank you.
This looks like a legit receipt and that you did pay for it, but let's hear passion side first. Okay, yes, I was the cashier there, but the security guard actually came before they paid and Rory wanted to steal money from the bank that the cash register had and she said, hey, I want my money back when they didn't actually pay and we have security camera footage of this all okay can i see the footage please yes can i have one of your phones yeah here okay thanks okay thank you i'm calling this court to obey us to watch this video we will come back in 30 minutes. Alright everyone, this video looks legit to me, but we shall take a test on it and see if it is. Let's turn up the brightness. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, what? This video is fake. Um, once I turned up the brightness and the exposure, I can clearly see... Um, well, let's just say the background... <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's clearly the background. <laughs> Not like a, a dumb green screen, what? Actually, that's exactly what it is. And I'm not too sure about the people in the video. Maybe you guys dressed up as when you something dumb. But that's fake. I know what it is. This is outrageous. You're stupid and old. You don't need to be here. Excuse me? Yes, who cares if I get arrested for it? It's worth it. You're stupid. My husband and my son are not defending me. So, they are both stupid. But, but you're not doing your job correctly. Look at that video even more. It, it, it's not fake. Well, you just insulted a court judge. So you may be arrested. No, I will not. I am not going to tolerate this stupid behavior of yours. And I am running out of here right now. I have made my final choice. Winnie Rose Thorn is officially clear of all charges. Case dismissed. But that piece of garbage, no, you can't let her go. They leave this room right now. But but you can't make me. Guards. Hi, I will come back. Believe me. Believe me, I will. I hate crazy people. <laughs> what was that today? I don't even know. That was something. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to be home though. Me too. Who's Clive be talking to on the phone? I don't know, she sounds mad. <sighs> hey Calliope, who are you on the phone with? Oh, nobody, uh, just Dory. <clears throat> What's wrong with Dory? Uh, you know, we've been just having a few fights lately. It's nothing. Um, we just talked about it and... We think we might break up. Wait, what? 